Do you guys want to see what I can do? Why do I have two beds? One for me and one for my hooker. One for me and one for my hooker. One for me and one for my hooker. One for me and one for the hooker. One for me and one for my hooker. Welcome one to the sub club. The this is what weird looks like. This is what weird looks like. This is oh go. Oh. This is what weird looks like. Someone says you can't put your finger into a clitoris. Somebody here doesn't have a scalpel handy. You splay that fucker just right, you can wrap it all around your fingers. You just gotta, you gotta shave real thin. <laughs> Woo! That's disturbing. That's the most fucked up thing I've said in a while. You just gotta lick them right where they pee from. Like this. I had a guy try to rob me once. He tried to break into my apartment. And you know what I did? I drove him home. He was drunk. He was trying to break into my apartment. He said he wanted to use the phone. I let him use the phone. He called his wife. He explained to his wife that he was drunk and that she needed a ride. This is the kind of person I am. I would never, I would never call somebody names. I would never attack somebody. I, I, these are the things I won't do for my worst enemy. Which is not, it's not even remotely close to true. I, I've never been abusive to my wife. I've never been abusive to, to, to nobody. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And uh, oh. yep, yeah, so fuck her. And now she's dead. And Actually, both of them are dead. The girl is dead. My mom is dead. Everyone I know and love Wait, is dead. Wait, the girl died? Whoa. How yeah, she, died at, she died of 39 of, like, fucking lung cancer. She had breast cancer, and they beat the breast cancer. But Jesus. then the treatment for the breast cancer gave her lung cancer. Oh, oh, that sounds crazy. absolutely terrible. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking awful. Yeah. I feel, I'm sorry you had to go through that, bro. That. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still alive. She's dead. Damn. Oh. <laughs> brutal. Yeah. I'm serious. You know, she like what do I what, why do I get to complain? She's the one that has to be dead, you know, fuck. <laughs>
and stated that he felt that he could eat whatever he wanted and still lose weight. And I personally said, I said that that is a serious warning sign that it is, he was, has not addressed his food addictions. He pretty much just admits to all that. I didn't do the mental work pre-surgery that I needed to do. In fact, I'm more damaged now in a post-surgery world than I was in a pre-surgery world because I got fucking divorced. Where he has not addressed his eating issues. Um, so I went back to comfort eating almost right away, but my surgery did its job. I was able to comfort eat and I was able to eat bad foods that I shouldn't eat, but I couldn't eat very much of them. So I still lost 200 pounds and I'm very happy having lost that 200 pounds. And at one point in time, he admits or he claims that he's like, great, I get to eat what I want for the next 10 years and I get to great, have a great 10 years because he says he's never been happier. And so if somebody says to me, well, Boogie, you're going to die in 10 years if you don't lose this last 50, 100 pounds. I'm like, hey, that sounds great because I'll have a great 10 years. I'll eat what I want and I'll die. And I'm looking forward to dying. At the same time, while saying he's got more trauma now than he had beforehand because he's gotten a divorce, it's very, very contradictory. Uh, it, it screams of needing... Uh, much, much more counseling. I plead to the, to the family and friends, by the way, because we are going to talk about a few of these clips, but I plead to the family and friends of Boogie2988, somebody get a hold of him and talk to him about getting some inpatient therapy. To his fans, I, this is not to be mean at all. This is not me being trying to be mean. I understand that he's got a lot of trauma. I'm not trying to diminish that. I'm not trying to belittle that. I'm not trying to do anything like that. I am trying to state that every one of his fans should be highly concerned at this video. Most days when I think about eventually dying, it's relaxing to me because I've been anxious my whole life. Ever since I was a kid, I have trouble sleeping at night. I have trouble even just sitting down and doing nothing. My brain just never stops. I'm in so much emotional, mental pain. I, I, I look forward to dying. <laughs> you need help. You need inpatient therapy, in my opinion, of course. You need to be admitted because what you think is going to be a great 10 years could probably be two okay ones and just a few more really miserable ones before you die. And that would be a damn shame. To add on to that, me reaching out to you, me emailing you, this video wasn't for you. But you and I have discussed things in comment sections of one of the videos I did make about you and I offered you to reach out to me anytime. Uh, and I did actually reach out to you on Instagram on June 3rd, 2018, after Steve Shaw made a video about you stating that he wanted to help you, let us help you, uh, because you had gained weight or stalled in your weight loss at a portion of time when you were telling your audience you were doing everything you're supposed to do, when in reality, for a person of your size, if you were doing everything you're supposed to do, you should have been dropping weight like crazy. There's this YouTuber, I won't mention any names, but he made a video about like, um, I said on Twitch one night, I'm like, I don't know that I'll ever get smaller than 350 pounds because I'm really happy at my current size. Mm. And the reason I said that was not because I'd given up. I said that because a lot of people were really worried about me and I wanted them to stop worrying. I wanted them to know that I was happy where I currently am. And so if somebody says to me, well, Boogie, you're going to die in 10 years if you don't lose this last 50, 100 pounds. I'm like, hey, that sounds great because I'll have a great 10 years. I'll eat what I want and I'll die. And I'm looking forward to dying. That's the stuff you say to get people not concerned? You, that's the stuff you say to p make people think that you are happy? That's the stuff you say? They turned it into, oh, he's encouraging people to stay fat and he's going to die in the next year and all the stuff, right? I challenge each and every one of you to look above, below, and at the end at the video that I made about Boogie 298. I challenge each and every one of you, I really do, to find where I said anything like that. I wasn't able to continue my clean eating, man. I'm really sorry about that. I guess it was very important to you and I'm sorry that it was, but yeah. Since I was traveling, I uh, wasn't able to keep it up, man. I got back home, and I've been doing it ever since I got back home, but you're right. I, was, I didn't do it while I was traveling. That's a real shame, man. And I'm really sorry I wasn't able to. Love you, though. Let's see how many people are disappointed. Tell me in chat. Are you, are you okay with or disappointed with the fact that out of my 30-day clean eating habit, I only managed to pull about 28? How, how, are you okay with that, or are you pissed? Let me know in chat, because clearly Annabelle's pissed, and I don't blame her. She should be. You guys can clip this for YouTube if you want to, too. Let's clip this. Go ahead and clip this for YouTube. Let me get to a safe place, because I'm going to flip over and do the big screen for this, okay? All right. So a lot of people are wondering why I'm stuck at 340 pounds, and there's three major reasons, okay? There's three things that I have to say that. Number one, 
fuck you. It's none of your fucking business. It's my body. It's my choice. Eat shit, right? It's only your business when I make it your business. And I'll let you know when it's your business. When I want to talk about it, I'll talk about it. When I don't want to talk about it, I'm not going to. So kiss my ass. Good news is I want to talk about it, okay? Number two, my primary focus is not on my body right now. My primary focus is on my brain. Now, part of that is my body. I am walking more and more every day. I could show you the blisters on my feet for how much I've been walking if you want to see them. I got fucking wounds on the bottom of my feet because I'm walking as much as I can. I'm walking on my treadmill. I'm walking my dog. I'm going to theme parks. I'm trying to up my mobility. I'm doing my exercise. I'm doing everything I can do. What I'm not doing is I'm not cutting back on what I eat because food makes me happy and I want to be happy right now. So I'm eating some of the foods that I shouldn't be eating because I like being happy because I'm struggling um, with my mental health right now and food helps me with that. But I am also like killing it when it comes to the physical department. But this is probably where I'm going to bottom out for a while. I'm probably gonna be about 340 pounds for quite some time because what my primary focus now is here and on my mobility. And if people don't understand that, fuck them. I don't care anymore, I honestly don't care. Oh, Boogie, you're lazy. Fuck you. Oh, Boogie, you're not trying. Fuck you. Oh, Boogie, you're the... Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. I don't care. I don't care what you think anymore. I don't want to make myself miserable to lose a few more pounds that I don't really care about when this is what I really need to be working on. Are you guys... You guys agree with me there? Or do you disagree? It's entirely up to you guys. You don't have to agree with me, but I'm curious to see uh, those of you who get it and those of you who don't. Are you and Robin Williams related? No. Both of you share the last name? No. That was... I, I have nothing in common with Robin Williams at all whatsoever. He's hilarious. I'm a piece of human garbage. So pretty much, pretty much pretty different. I think the only thing we have in trouble, the only thing we have in common is that eventually I'll probably kill myself and also mental illness. I think, I think, and this is my opinion, I think when the time comes, I'm going to have no problem pulling the trigger or like when, when, once, once I fully given up hope, you know, once I've fully given up hope, once I'm fully ready to go, once I'm, once the internet has forgotten about me and you guys don't, aren't, you don't need me anymore and I'm not needed around anymore, and if I haven't found a wife and I haven't had kids or something like that and I haven't had the life that I, uh, uh, you know, wanted for myself and I'm, I'm just miserable and alone, I don't think, I don't think I'll have any problem pulling the trigger. But the opportunity to, to have met you guys and to take photos with you and have you say to my face, I know better, I'm smarter than that, I'm better than that. I'll always be a fan. To know that I have a core audience that's never going to drink the Kool-Aid, that's never going to believe these horrible, monstrous lies about me. It, um... It saved my life. I hope. So I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys may not be aware of this because you're my core audience, you're my fans, and maybe I shouldn't even make you aware of this, but... I'm going to talk about it anyway. There are more people on the internet these days who hate me, I think, than have ever loved me. There are more people out there, and, and some of them hate me fairly, I think. Some of them don't like uh, the way I look. Uh, they don't like my teeth. They don't like the, the way I've lost weight. They hated me because I was fat, and I didn't lose weight fast enough for their taste. In it. Or maybe I tweeted something that they didn't like or said something in a video they didn't like. Um, and all of that, obviously, I will take my lumps for that, right? You don't like me because of that. If you hate me because of that, that's a very reasonable thing. Those are things I've done. Those are things I've said. That, that is who I am. But I'm not a wife-beating pedophile. Pedophile is one of the things that I frequently get called. I see a fan saying, oh, I used to be such a big fan. But then I found out that he was a wife-beater or that he was a pedophile or that he was a homophobe. I told him that all of this shit is making me suicidal and I didn't want to fucking kill myself. That I might kill myself in a month I might kill myself when I take care of my other shit, but I don't want to fucking kill myself tonight. I want to do it on my terms. I want to do it on my time. The fire department coming into the house in the middle of a date, by the way. All of this is happening in the middle of a date tonight, by the way. Please, I'm going to block you. I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to talk to you about it anymore. Just leave me alone. I, I'm, I, don't, I don't want to fucking blow my brains out tonight. I just want to be left alone, man. And so please just leave me alone. Please, I tried to convince you. I tried to show you. Please just leave me alone. And they were so worried that I was going to hurt myself that they called, they called welfare, uh, did a welfare check and did the, the, the social media stuff, which is fine. I'm glad they did. I do want to make it very clear to anybody out there. If I thought I was going to blow my brains out, um, talking to a cop is not going to change that. 
I don't I don't know what the, what anybody expects to think about that. That is not for me. That is for whoever does that. You're not doing me a fucking favor. You're not doing me a fucking favor. You're making yourself feel good, and that's fine. But you're not doing me a favor, man. I know on some twisted level you think you are, but it's not gonna it's not gonna fucking fix anything. Before before I give up. But when I give up, I want to make it very fucking clear to you. My plan is to delete my Twitter, to delete my Twitch, to delete my YouTube, post one video on all of them that says goodbye, says that I screwed up, says that this is what happens when you serial harass somebody, here's what happens when Welcome you attack somebody daily and daily and day in and day out, and then when you guys no, no longer remember me, I can die. I don't deserve to die over it, guys. I really don't. I really fucking don't. I really fucking don't. But I want to make it very clear, you're fucking killing me. I, I am a fatally flawed broken. I am a fatally flawed broken person. You know? I'm not that different from my mom. I'm not that different from my dad. I've never molested anybody. You know, I didn't beat my kids. I chose not to have kids, so I wouldn't do those things. But does that make does that mean I'm any better than my mother? Does it mean I'm any better than my father? Probably not. And you tell me that man didn't deserve better than that. I fucking dare you. I fucking dare you and I will knock you the fuck out. I will. I will knock you the fuck out. I will fucking floor you. You tell me that man didn't deserve better than that. Then I'll knock you the fuck out. I'll knock you on your fucking ass. I swear to God I will. Anybody deserves better than that. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Francis. I took over the fucking Welcome stream. To the boogie, Boogie, who, Boogie's not here. Did I see Reddit today? Oh, I seen Reddit today. Ooh, ooh, we don't like Boogie anymore. Good, I don't fucking like you. I don't fucking like you, Reddit. Okay, I don't care. I never cared. Here's how. All right, all right. Hey, let, me, let me fucking let me fucking show you something real quick. Hold on, let me show you something. Okay. Here, here is, here is right here. Hold on, this is a magic card. This is not what I was going to show you. You guys want to fucking see this? Oh, you guys want to fucking see this? You ready for this? You see what this is? This is the world's tiniest violin, okay? Playing the tiny little fur fucking dirge for how little of a shit I give about what fucking Reddit thinks about me. Okay? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Reddit can suck my entire dick, and that only takes like 30 seconds. But when they're done, Reddit can kiss my entire fucking ass. Okay? I don't care. I don't care. And nobody cares. All right? I'm going to stay online, and I'm going to stay alive as long as I can. I'm going to waste as much of your time as you can. I'm going to say as much shit and do as much shit as I can to keep your attention so you don't do it to somebody else. I'm here for you to torture me and only me. I'm going to make a living letting you torture me. I'm going to be the next Dark Side Phil. I'm going to be the next Wings of Redemption. I'm going to spend every day online to keep you fucking busy so you don't do it to somebody else. So bring it. But I want you to know, I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who, even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis, they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. They may be pieces of garbage. They may be pieces of shit. They may harm other people, but at least they believe what they fucking stand for. You stand for nothing. You stand for nothing. Even a disgusting piece of shit rapist is better than you. Even a piece of shit racist garbage Nazi is better than you. You are the worst. Um, I still haven't got it fully financed yet. I'm having to finance it, obviously. I can't spend $100,000 in a day. That would be insane, right? But I am financing it, okay? Um, and so he's like, he's like, Boogie, how many fans are going to end up buying a Model S because of you? And I'm like, okay, all right, that's fair. He goes, what if we put 10 more cars on the road? 
Think about the impact you're making in the world when you put 10 more cars on the road. Then I get to my hotel room and I'm sitting there saying, oh my God, I just put myself $100,000 in debt. My car payment's $1,700 a month or something like that. Maybe it's $1,500, I don't know. Ugh, that's more money than I make on Twitch. Ugh. Well, I make more than that on Twitch most months, but oh God, that's more money than I make through. That's like half of my YouTube rev rad revenue this month. Oh God. Oh God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Why did I do this? Why did I put myself in $100,000 into debt? I'm already in, in debt for the car. Why did I put myself into debt? So then it really started to hit me. I really started to panic. I really started to get scared. So I tweeted out, I tweeted out that I was not going to be able to afford this car. Reddit and Twitter lost their fucking minds. Oh, are you trying to manipulate people into giving you money? The answer is yes. Give me some money. Also, no, I just realized that when I got home, the car was fucking expensive, and I didn't realize. But the problem is, I was there with Jesse. Jesse was buying the car anyway, and Jesse's got, Jesse's like, Boogie, treat yourself. I'm like, you're right, treat myself. He's like, Boogie, treat yourself. I'm like, all right, treat myself. He's like, Boogie, treat yourself. I'm like, all right. If you guys want to help me pay for my Tesla, please go ahead and dig deep. I sure would like a free fucking Tesla. Reach down in your pockets and give me $100,000 tonight. Curthew, I'm looking at you, motherfucker. <laughs> just kidding, Curthew. Oh boy, here we go. What do you want? Hey, it's good to hear your voice. It's been a couple days. How have you how are you doing? I'm all right. Can't complain too much. I made it to forty five. What do you think about that? It's impressive. Yeah, I didn't think I would. Only another forty to go. Another forty, Des? Do you hate me that much <laughs> that you want me to let it be ninety fucking eighty five? Uh, it's VidCon is weird without you. It really is because, like, we're all these very familiar places, right? And like going to Disney without you, I've been like five times now. It's just so weird. It's just it's your ghost haunts me there. It's kind of it's kind of nice though. How are you, how's your summer adventures been? What have you done that was cool? Went to Door County, which is like Eureka Springs of the North. Oh so. man, I haven't been to Eureka Springs in forever. Because people don't know this, but that's where we got engaged. This is a really good story. I don't know if they're going to want to hear this, but so we were driving uh, up to Eureka Springs and I had been planning for like three weeks to uh, ask you to marry me that day. And it was my birthday. Oh my God, it was my birthday. You remember? Yeah. All of the YouTube videos are still up. You know, our wedding YouTube video is still up and everything. Because I don't see a point in deleting it. People have asked me like, why I don't delete it? But I'm like, that's a be what's the best day of my life. I love that day. Why would I delete that? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, geez, what a day. Oh, but you have to finish the engagement story about how you picked a fight with me about oh. how I never watch your videos anymore. <laughs> yeah, so... I was working like 60-hour weeks. I know. Like, you, it don't was, even, you don't even care about so... my videos. You don't even watch them. Like, what are you talking about? I help you film them all the time. And I'm and, like, why are we arguing about this? I'm dying right now. And I'm like, like, look at my face. You know, what, you know what I'm doing today, by the way? So I decided to use my birthday... As in all the negative notoriety I'm getting right now, I'm sure you've seen it on Reddit or whatever, but um, I was like, hey, I would raise money for two right love on her arms. And you remember I called you a couple weeks back and I talked to you about my suicidal thoughts. We talked about it a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And you know I've been plagued with that the entire time we've known each other, right? That's something I've struggled with ever since I've known you, right? Yeah. So I picked two right love on her arms as the, the right charity. You're familiar with that one, right? Yeah, I'm surprised because it's a lot cooler than you are. I know. I've gotten so into the music scene now. I had a music video come out today. Well, that's awesome. I'm, I'm a pop. You know, the music scene is more than just like Weird Al, though, right? I will tell you, though, um, I, I'll say uh, the thing that probably haunts me the most is every once in a while I hear a song on the radio and I have the thought, oh, Des would really like the song. And then I'm like, aw. What are you listening to these days? Any Weird Al? No. Not on purpose. Um. <laughs> Not on purpose. Somebody says this woman is hilarious. Music is more than... We yeah, why do you think I married this woman? Of course, she's, she's hysterical. She's far funnier than I ever was. Why do you think the phrases videos haven't been good since we separated? I haven't been on Reddit. You mentioned seeing you on Reddit. Those are all the things I get to avoid now. God, I'm so jealous of you. Yeah. Oh. They have like this crazy picture of you and I and like what happened that did you cuck me does 
did I cuck you? Yeah, did you did you did you screw TJ behind my back or whatever? What, it's because Remington isn't attractive, but TJ was hot as shit. I mean, he's like, you know, like he's a, he's a gay guy who takes really good care of himself. It's just crazy. Why, at the end of the day, confirm or deny this. Let's see what you think. We got divorced just because it wasn't working. Right. Is that pretty much it? We just weren't happy? Yeah. Hmm, that's pretty much it. But I knew that we were going down a path where we just were not clicking and we were fighting and we were resenting each other for things. And I didn't want that to be the end of our story where we spent the next 20 years of our lives hating each other, you know? Yep, absolutely. All right. Well, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate you still. Thank you for being such a good friend. I really appreciate you. Thank you for helping raise a little bit of money for to write Love in Our Arms. Hey, if you swing by when you get home... If you give 20 bucks, I'm giving 20 bucks. Every dollar you donate via this charity stream, um, I'm matching dollar for dollar up to $10,000. I'm wanting to spend 10 grand today. So if you're feeling, okay. yeah, get in there, pull out the credit card before it's over with. Okay, the, the drive's going on to tomorrow. The live stream's going to end soon. But thanks for consenting to, to, to have this phone call. Thanks for talking to me. Hopefully this puts some of the idiotic hate to bed. I don't think it will, but, you know, who knows? I, I can see I can see the Reddit headline tomorrow. Boogie embarrasses his ex-wife by calling her unprompted on stream, pays her to lie. I can I can only see it now, but all right, sweetheart. Thank you for answering. Okay. I really appreciate you. Have a great yep. day. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Bye. Hey, she's so sweet. She's st I, that's the best part about it is I love still being friends with my ex-wife. Oh, I wish you would talk right now. I wish you would say something right now. You know, couldn't you talk? Can't you talk? Huh? I built you. I put you together. You got a mouth. So you're going to talk. Are you going to talk? Are you going to talk? Talk. Talk. You know, you're the reason I left. What? What? I said you're why I left. Shut the f up. Nobody asked you. Well, a psychopath. We call him every day. On your little Reddit. He's been waiting for him to f*** it up. Waiting for him to destroy it all. Waiting for him to gain the weight back. Waiting for him to lose his mind. Well, I got some bad news for you. He's been crazy the whole time. <laughs> you know what? I can't say I blame you for leaving. Kind of wish I'd get out of here too. I don't mean this room. I mean I miss I mean away from David. Away from that house. Away from YouTube. Away from it all. <laughs> I'm stuck here with him. Why excuse me, miss? May I have this dance? <laughs> oh you know how to Fortnite dance? You know, you wanna floss? You wanna know learn to floss? Huh? Is that what you wanna do, huh? Hey, Merry Christmas. Guess what you got? We're going to Disneyland. Oh, you got Just Dance. Gonna be okay. Look out of yourself. Just Dance. Gonna be okay. Go f*** yourself. Happy Easter. <laughs> Here's your f***ing bowl of carrots. It's another Thanksgiving. Ruined by you. It's another Easter. Ruined by you. I really loved you. I really did. And I know you really loved me. Well, I know you loved him. And I know you f***ing hated me. You hated all of it, didn't you? You f***ing hated YouTube. You f***ing hated the fame. You f***ing hated the fans. You hated the trips. You hated the conferences. You hated the f***ing other YouTubers bogarting my time. <laughs> when I met you, I was a 600 pound man on f disability. Oh, all right? Look at me now! Look at me now! And you know what? You're the one who did that. You're the one who did that. You're the one that came into our life when we had given up. When we had given up hope. We'd given up on ourselves. We'd given up on our career. We'd given up on our job. And you took us out of that bed where we were ready to die and you helped us work every single day you helped us develop me 
Not just Boogie as a person, not just me as a character, but you taught us how to live when we were ready to die. And everything we have, we owe to you. Does that make you feel good? Does that make you feel superior? Does that make you feel loved? Because it made me f***ing hate you. And after all that, you took it away. You know, this is it, right? I've held on long enough. I gotta say goodbye. Is this what you guys want to see? You want to see crazy? I can show you crazy. doesn't help. Doesn't make it feel any less painful. It's as miserable as I've ever been. Hey buddy, you gotta calm down, okay? Alright, this is actual crazy, alright? They're gonna think you're you're threatening somebody. They're gonna think you're hurting somebody, okay? Uh, it's styrofoam. Someone would have to be an idiot to think it may oh, no, no, that's the thing is. That's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with actual idiots okay that's the thing you're dealing with actual psychopaths that's who watches your content not all of them most of them are pretty normal most of them are pretty healthy most of them have a brain in their head but some of them don't and they'll use any excuse any excuse to kick you while you're down and they don't need a lot of reasons because you've already gave them plenty so I dated a YouTuber and for his sake, I'm just going to call him Asshole. I met Asshole and um, he was on a website. I'm not going to say what kind of website, but you can probably figure it out. And I thought, oh, this must be a joke. Like, I was never told to sign an NDA. I was just told to keep his fucking name out of my mouth. So, I am. Just talking about an asshole. If you know what I do for a job, then you know I have to be at home <clears throat> in order to be on cam. Well, I couldn't do that because it would turn into an argument every time I tried to leave. Why are you trying to leave me? You know I need somebody right now. Blah, 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 you know. As best we could. And I'm like, why didn't you get me taken out of the home. If you knew I was being beaten and molested, why didn't you take me out of the home? And she said, your mother once told that if you, if they ever tried to take you out of the home the way they did your sister, she would kill you Welcome because you were home. all she had left. left. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. And I'm like, so here's the thing. Mom had also told me the same thing many, many times. So I knew that that was correct. I knew that that's how she felt, and I knew that's what she said. Shit. All you ever do is buy them gay shit. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Ever seen the video where a kid behind a camera shoves his two-year-old nephew to the ground by his face and then shoves his shoe in the same child's face until his head is forced backwards? Also, the one where AGP throws a toy truck at a four-year-old's head. Yep, and I did talk to Mike about that stuff, and Mike's answer was very simple. Those were sketches.
Those of you on Twitter, this is what's left of the house. People have come in here and wrecked it and destroyed it. And these memories, just shooting up needles all over this place, but there's pictures, old pictures of me that I gave mom. There's mom. I love you guys. Thank you for getting me out of this. I think she can see. I think she knows on some level. Hey, Mom. Listen up. I tried to go to the house, but you weren't there. And I don't know if you're here. But I want to tell you something. I'm okay. I was stuck in that miserable apartment. No hope of making money. Do you remember that YouTube video I filmed of you? Thousands of people seen it, tens of thousands. And I know you're embarrassed, but they love you because you gave birth to me. I know this won't make too much sense to you, but 4.5 million people have watched my videos. <laughs> hey mom, people said, people said I've saved their lives. Hey mom, I'm sorry I didn't get to know you much. Uh, Alzheimer's is a hell of a thing. But I remember how you liked to talk in Pig Latin and I know how you made me laugh when I was a kid. Hey mom, I want to say you did good. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> I love you.